Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. Today in this video, we will learn how to display sound wave pattern on the website. This type of sound wave pattern you will find on music streaming website. When we will click on this play icon, it will start playing the song. This play icon will become a pause icon. When we click on the pause icon, it will pause the song. We will make this music website designed with sound wave pattern using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe Easy Tutorials YouTube channel. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have one index.html file, one style.css file and another folder called media and in this one, I have added two icons which is for the play and pause icon and we have two audio file in mp3 format. Let's come back and open these HTML file and CSS file with the code editor. Here I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. This is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag. So here we will add one div with the class name hero. Next we will add the CSS for this one. So just copy this one and add it here in this CSS file. Here we will add the width. Width will be 100%. Then let's add the height. 100 VH viewport height. After that we will add the background. In this background we will add one color code. Then we will add display, flex, align items center and justify content center so that all the contents inside this div will be in the center. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this gray color on the complete web page. So right now you can see this is our local URL. So let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension. So here I will right click and select open with live server. So it will again open the same web page but the URL has been changed. And now if we will add any changes in the code file and save it, then it will automatically refresh the website. So let's come back to the HTML file again. And here we will add one div with the class name music. In this one, we will add a title in p tag. Then again, one title in h1. This will be the track name. After adding this, let's copy this class name music, write it here in this CSS file. And here we will add width, then max width. some padding and box shadow. Then we will add the background. Background will be white and color. This will be the text color and border radius. So the corners will be round, 8 pixel. After adding this, let's open the website again. And you can see this white color of box here. And in this one, you can see these two lines of text that we have added in the HTML file. Next, we have to add one play and pause icon, and then we will add the sound waveform. So let's come back and here in this HTML file, here we will add 
another div with the class name track. In this one, we will add the contents in two columns. So first we will add one image, write the file path. So let's come back to the folder. You can see we have folder called media and in this one we have the file name pause.png and play.png. So let's come back. Here we will add media slash play.png. So this is the play icon. And after this image, there will be another div. And in this div, we will add the BAFE form. So after adding this, again refresh the website, you can see this play icon here and the space in the right side. We have to change the size of this play icon. So let's come back. First, we will copy this class name track. And in this track, we have to add the sound wave and image in two columns. So here we will add display. So here let's add the display flex and align items center. Now we need some space from the top. So margin top, it will be 20 pixel. Now in this track, you can see we have one image with the IMG tag. So here we will add dot track IMG. Here we missed the dot. Let's add dot track because it is a class name. So in this one IMG, we have to set the width of the play icon. So let's add the width 70 pixel, then margin from the right side. and cursor it will be pointer and you can see we have another div here in this div we have not added anything so here we will add dot track div and for this div we will add entire space available so here let's add flex one so it will use the entire space available in the row after adding this you can see this play icon in perfect size and we have a space here where we will display the sound wave pattern to add the sound wave pattern on your website just come to google and search for wave surfer open this website wavesurferjs.org here you can see this script one line of a script just copy this one and add it in your html file just above this closing head tag so i am adding it here after adding this let's come back here you can see this script so let's copy this one and come back just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag in this script just paste it like this so after adding this, you can see we have the container with the hashtag waveform. So just copy this hashtag waveform and add it here with the ID in this div where we want to display the wave pattern. Here we will add ID waveform and it will be same here in this container. So it will display the wave pattern in this div. Next, we have to load the sound file or music file that will be displayed on our web page. To load the sound wave, we will add wavesurfer.load. And here we have to add the file path of our sound file or music file. So again, come back and uh, here you can see this is our sound file name or music file name. So let's come back and in this HTML file, we will add the folder name media slash and this mp3 file name. After adding this again, refresh the website. Here you can see these wave pattern on this website. Right now it is not playing. It is a stopped and we have different color here. So first we will decorate it. We will change the color and we will change the size. So let's come back. 
here we have the wave color so in this we will add any color code that we want to display on our web page so here we will add this color and this is the progress color it will be displayed when the sound wave is playing so here we will add another color code next we will add the bar width so let's add comma and here we will add it will be 4 then we will add responsive it will be true next we will add the height it will be 90 and let's add the bar radius it will be 4 after changing this let's come back to the website again you can see the color for this wave pattern has been changed and if you click here you can see the progress color and if we add another sound wave here that pattern will be different so let me show you that also let's come back to the folder and here you can see we have another song this one so let me copy this file name and if we will add it here we will replace the song like this we have added another song now again refresh the website and here you can see another wave pattern you can see some changes in this wave pattern because it is for the another song and still it is not playing now we have to add the play and pause feature for this song or sound so let's come back here we will add the previous song and after adding this here you can see we have one image that is the play icon so in this one let's add one id called play btn and in this script we will add where play btn equal to document dot get element by id and write this id play btn after that come here after this sound wave load we will add play btn dot on click equal to function So whenever we will click on this play icon, it will execute this function. Here we have to add wave suffer dot play pause. This will be capital P uppercase play pause after adding this again come back to the website if i will click here it will start playing this sound step one wake up brother gonna rise with the sun step two get some good some food wake up today's gonna be it and when i click again it will pause this one when this song was playing this icon was same as play but it should change to pause icon when the song is playing to change this one let's come back and here we will add if play vtn dot src dot includes play dot png Then we will replace it with the pause icon play btn dot src equal to media slash pause dot png and then we will add else condition. Let's copy this one 
and here we will add play.png. So if the icon is play.png and again we click on the icon so it will change it as pause.png and once it is pause.png and we click on the icon it will change back to the play.png. Now if the sound is playing then we can see the pause icon but when the sound gets completed at the end then again it should come back to the play icon. For that here we will add Wave surfer dot on finish. Function in this one. We will add this and in the next line we have to stop the song so then we will add wave surfer dot stop here we will correct it finish finish after adding this again come back to the website and here if we will click on this play icon it will change it as pause and when we will click again it will change back to the play icon step one wake up brother gonna rise with the sun step, step two get some good some food in here step three you can see this icon is changing and we can click on this babe pattern also to forward this song Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always got. Let me forward this song at the end, then it will stop automatically, and after that, it will change the pause icon to the play icon. Let's see. You can see, after ending this song, this icon changed back to the play icon so this is how we can add the sound wave pattern on our website using html css and this wave surfer javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video